You have got to see these 10 games coming out at Essen with these most amazing components. I've also got two honorable mentions in here because it was really hard to pick because there's a lot of cool stuff going in. So let's get into it. First honorable mention is Andromeda's Edge. This is being produced by Cardboard Alchemy. It is a kind of miniatures warfare, space warfare game. It's an honorable mention because it's kind of expected to have a lot of cool components being a minis game. And when I looked at the play uh, images, the board gets really busy, so it's not as pretty as I would like it to be. Uh, but if you have a massive table, it's not going to be as big of a deal. Next honorable mention is Aquatica Coral Reefs. This is honorable mention because it's an expansion. But it has these cute coral reef components here as well as you get more of the manta rays uh, that are in Aquatica. What I love about this game is the kind of sliding mechanic that you get with your cards. Um, this expansion will be cool to check out, although I'd have to get the base game because I do regret, regret selling this game. Okay, let's get into top 10. Cities. This has some stackable houses. They're not the prettiest thing going on, but they're still kind of cool. So that's why this one comes in at number 10. This one is being produced by Devir. And you are kind of building out this little city here uh, and trying to score in various ways. Let's go to Japan. This is number nine. Um, it has these amazing ceramic bowls that come with it and a ton of wooden components if you get the deluxe upgrade one. The bowls do have to live in a separate box, however. So that's a little bit quirky there. And they have these neoprene play mats now for your planning trips so that you can kind of put everything out there uh, and you know you can only put three cards in each spot so it only has a certain height there so it's kind of cool coming up next uh, number eight is River Valley Glassworks I actually got a chance to play this this weekend cool game however it's all production value uh, and not uh, the greatest amount of substance for me uh, it has these really cool components here these are acrylic, acrylic tiles you can actually upgrade even to actual glass ones uh, and then the board itself has these cool uh, see-through acrylic tiles for the river, or if you get the basic edition, it's cardboard. Um, I might buy the basic edition. However, another game on this list, I think is gonna beat this out for me when it comes to cool components and what I wanna get next, especially for that abstract itch. Next up by Lucky Duck Games is nestlings they have these cute bird and action tokens that have a nice unique shape there's a ton of wood in this game and so everyone comes in this little custom tray with these cute bird ornaments and these different wood pieces actually have this like triangle shape to them which is really cool because they actually go around this wheel here uh, so that's going to be interesting to check out next up rebirth this one is a Rainer Kinizia game it has these cool warship car kind of component things not sure what you would call them uh and these cool little castle minis these are very detailed so it's very cute um this game though is a little bit busy again um and it from what i saw from the gameplay i'm gonna have to try and play this out before i might think of buying it number five menifer this one has so many cool wooden components so we've got some sphinx we've got some barrows we have got some sarcophagi and we have got a ton of boats on the Nile. And there's, of course, this little building pyramid. I don't know anything about this game so far. It caught my eye because of the components itself. I want to learn more at Essen. Number four. This is the one that I think is going to beat out River Valley Glassworks for me. This is Intarsia. This was also in my cool mechanics video. Make sure you check that out below. But it has these cool wooden components that are going to stack into each other that you're gonna put on the player board to create this cool parquet floor. So that's Intarsia. And that one I believe is Michael Kiesling. Yeah, Michael Kiesling, so that one's really cool. I'm excited for that. I actually pre-ordered it already. <laughs> so away we go. Forest of Pangea. This has this cute little stacking tree. So these trees stack on top of these wooden components here. Now there is a lot of these kind of tree forest building games, but this one's using wood components instead of cardboard trees. Uh, it's very 3D. Uh, and so this has got such an amazing table presence. So I want to check that out as well. Coming in at number two is Cortisons. This is coming to North America from Panasaurus Games. It has this cool fabric 
player board instead of a neoprene player board for once. So that, I thought that was kind of neat as well as these cards are beautiful. So I want to uh, try and grab a copy of that when it comes to Canada. And number one is Babylon. Now, this one is a little bit deceiving. These components are beautiful. This looks amazing, right? However, it's actually really quite small. These are only about, uh, these little squares here are maybe two centimeters by two centimeters. So like uh, three quarters of an inch. So this actually is, uh, it's still really beautiful and got a nice type of presence, but it's not as big as something like the Architects with Cleopatra is. Because uh, that's what I thought the first time I saw this, that it would be really big, but then I saw some play images and it's actually a little bit smaller. So those are the 10 games I want to see at Essen based solely upon their components. I definitely want to uh, give that a check out. Make sure you keep checking me out. Ooh. Yes, check me out. Subscribe, like, follow, heart, do all of those things. Retweet, repost, reblog. This isn't Tumblr. Never mind. You can you you don't have to reblog. But please make sure you subscribe, like, follow along, hit that bell icon, and we will see you next time. I'll put this geek list below and that, let me see your comments of what you want to see at Essen. Tune in next time for my next Essen video around some hidden gems as well as a much uh, a bunch of must buys if you're a Canadian going to Essen that games that are probably not going to make it to Canada. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.